Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today let's make a bucket dyed hoodie. I'm using one of the buffalo hoodies which I purchased from Costco and it is 70% viscose, 16% cotton, 11% polyester, and 3% elastane. The viscose and the cotton in this hoodie dye really well. The polyester and the elastane both do not dye, but the polyester is mainly on the inside of the hoodie in the fuzzy part and the elastane is the elastic part around the cuffs of the hoodie and down around the bottom hem. I saw someone else on Facebook do a hoodie kind of like this. They did a bucket dyed hoodie and I believe their name was Kat Kohler. I've seen several other people do them, but that's the one that I remember. I'm starting out with a five gallon bucket that has a lid. I'm not gonna use the lid, so that part's not important. I have the hoodie turned inside out and I'm gonna place it down inside of the bucket with the hem part going in first. Right on the very top of the bucket is the neck and the hood of the hoodie. I press the hoodie down inside of the bucket, but this fabric is kind of soft, so it's not packed down in there very tight. And the hoodie is still damp. I'm gonna add some ice to the top of the hoodie and I'm gonna to try to make the ice about the same depth as the hoodie is. I'm only gonna add one layer of ice to the top and I wanna make sure that I have plenty of liquid to get all the way down to the very bottom of the container. The hoodie doesn't necessarily need to be completely submerged in the muck. And by the way, all muck is, is the melting ice that's mixed with the dye. I recently got in some new Happy Cat tie-dye colors and this is one of those colors. It is called Mystic Blue. And if you haven't ever tried any of Amanda's dye colors, they are absolutely gorgeous. She specifically formulates them for ice dyeing and so they have great color splits. You can see the color swatch over by my bucket and it has really pretty color splits. So I'm anxious to see what it looks like on this hoodie. By the way, I have a link down below in the description for this video to her website where you can purchase some of her dye colors. I'm gonna sprinkle the dye over the top of the ice and then I'm gonna add on a little bit of additional soda ash and set the bucket aside and allow the ice to melt. After the ice melted, I left the hoodie inside of the bucket for about two days, so about 48 hours before I began rinsing it. To rinse the hoodie, I took the bucket to my utility sink, dumped out the muck and the hoodie, and I began rinsing in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. As you can see, I probably had about three-fourths of the hoodie submerged in the muck. The very top portion was not under the muck. After rinsing in cold water for a while, I went ahead and warmed the water up to hot and I continued rinsing in hot water to try to rinse out the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. Instead of going ahead and rinsing for a long time, this hoodie is really thick and if I wanted to just keep rinsing it in hot water until the water was running almost clear, I'm probably gonna be here for quite a while. And I don't really want to use that much water, so I'm going to run some really hot water in my utility sink, add a little bit of blue Dawn dish detergent to the water, and just allow the hoodie to soak. When the water cools off, I'll come back and change it out, and I'll continue that soaking process until my water is almost clear. So there are certain dye colors that just seem to be a little bit more difficult to get fully rinsed. And for me, blue seems to be one of those. I can rinse and rinse and rinse, and it looks like my water is clear, but then I come back, maybe give a quick soak, and the water is still blue. 
So my suggestion is if you have an item that is dyed any color of blue, to go ahead and wash that the first several times by itself, or at least with other tie dye that is close to the same color. Carbona and Shout both make a product now, which you can find on the laundry aisle. Carbona's is called the a color catcher, and I'm not sure what the Shout sheets are called, but you throw them in the washing machine and they will catch any of the color that comes out into the water and won't allow it to redeposit onto another clothing item. These are great. I use them regularly with just my regular laundry. You know, if I buy new clothing at the store or something, I'll throw it in the washing machine with those items for the first few times just to make sure that none of that dye goes off and ruins any other piece of clothing that I own. When the water was running almost clear, I took the hoodie and put it into my washing machine and washed it using a hot water cycle along with some Dharma's professional textile detergent. So now that the hoodie's been washed and dried, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think? I think this one turned out looking really cool. I love this mystic blue. It is such a pretty color. It's splitting out like a lighter blue and a little bit darker blue, some greenish type colors. It's so pretty. Like I said, I haven't had one single one of Amanda's dyes from Happy Cat Tie Dye that is not gorgeous. So I don't know if you guys have seen it, but I posted a shirt that was a container dyed shirt, which is pretty much the same technique, just I used a smaller container instead of a bucket. And I used a t-shirt that was a ring spun t-shirt instead of a hoodie. And the bottom of that t-shirt was a solid color. Not totally solid. I mean, it did have variations in the dye, but for the most part, the color was up at the top and a solid color was down at the bottom. And that's kind of what happened with this one too. This is not like any of the hoodies that I've seen other people do when they do bucket dyes. So I'm a little bit surprised by it, but I wasn't quite as surprised because I'd already done the t-shirt. I did both the t-shirt and this hoodie at the same time, but the effect was a lot more severe on the t-shirt than it is on this hoodie. By the way, I'll drop a link down below in the description for this video to that t-shirt if you want to see what I'm referring to. So the top portion of the hoodie, which is where I applied the dye, is where all the variations of color are. And then as it works down to what was at the bottom of the container, it just kind of goes out to that lighter blue, which is a cool color split coming out of the dye. Don't get me wrong. I just, I don't know. I was just kind of expecting a little bit more of the other colors to go all the way down to the bottom of the hoodie. And whenever I'm looking at this, for some reason, I keep having issues being able to get what I consider to be the proper coloring on my flat items. When I photograph them flat, I think that's the way that you can see like the dye movement and some of the design a little bit better, but the color is more accurate on the mannequin. So when you're looking at this, kind of look at the flat item more as the design of the hoodie. But then if you wanna see the exact color, look at the mannequin, cause I think those are probably colored a little bit better. I think the the dark blue up at the top of the hoodie photographs a little bit darker than it really is when I photographed it flat. So I think I'm getting this effect probably because I'm putting say the hem of the garment down in there first and then applying the dye to the very top. I don't know if other people are maybe putting it in with maybe the back down first or the front down first. I don't know if one of you guys are doing these bucket dyes. Let me know. Let me know kind of why I'm getting what I'm getting. Honestly, I really don't mind it because I think it's kind of a cool effect. It's almost a little bit of an ombre without being an intentional ombre, if that makes any sense. I don't know. Please drop me some comments down below and let me know what you guys think of it, though. And if you've got any suggestions, because I want to try this again. I'm definitely going to try it again with the t-shirt. I don't know if I'm going to do another hoodie right now, but... I'll definitely do another t-shirt like this. And if you guys have enjoyed watching this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it. 
and if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you'll hit the bell, you'll receive a notification whenever I upload a new video. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.